tell me about this place. What else is there? There's an island mm -hmm. that you can see. There are dolphins in the water. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about this magical place. If you like, you can walk on the water. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what you are in this place. I'd like for you to focus on yourself and tell me what you look like. Long white hair, mm -hmm. sitting cross-legged on the beach with some sheer bluish robes type. Feels like I'm a man, male. Mm -hmm. What do you do on this beach? I think and meditate. Mm -hmm. It's where I go to clear my mind. Mm -hmm. So let's find out what it is that you're doing there today. My head is on my knees and I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. What are you thinking about? It's just so peaceful. Mm -hmm. It just helps me clear my head. I, I've gotten to that peaceful state. Mm -hmm. And now I can go back to my family. Very good. So let's find out where it is that you live. Close that scene and open it in the place where you live. What does this place look like? It has the uh, there are lots of, st of structures, but they're almost they're not clay, but they're um, stucco maybe mm -hmm. an off white color. It's like there's where we live, a village. Mm -hmm. What do these structures look like? The, many of them are joined. They're joined. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. It's like a community. Mm -hmm. um, do you see others around you? Yes, there are other people, there are cobblestone streets mm -hmm. or pathways. Yeah. There doesn't seem to be vehicles. No vehicles. Well, how are these people dressed? What do they look like? Um, similar to me, but a small boy with shorter pants, but they balloon toward the bottom and tied around this below his knees mm -hmm. with no shirt but fair mm -hmm. not dark skinned but you know lightish brown hair but very very healthy mm -hmm. how old do you think this boy is Eight or nine. Eight or nine. Does he have anything on his feet? No, barefoot. Mm -hmm. Are there any women in this place? Yes. How do you look? Well, most wear skirt. Mm -hmm. But the material feels very um, future, not current or past. Mm hmm. Um, happy, very lovely, mm -hmm. and again, all very healthy. Very healthy, very good. So let's find out more about your life. Go to the place where you live and see what your family is like. Oh, very happy, mm -hmm. um, close. I have a child. Um, 
feels like to a girl and a boy. Mm -hmm. um, joy in picking them up and holding them. Four or five. And look around your house. What does it look like inside? Um, simple, but mm -hmm. everything we need. Mm -hmm. And very comfortable. Do you, have, do you have furniture in there? The beds are almost like cots, but there's like a woven blanket with many colors. Mm -hmm. um, and it's very comfortable. There's more to it than just a cot, but it's like a cot. Mm -hmm. And then a uh, oh, very nice material on the floor it feels so good to your feet, like like fur, but it's not from animals. Hmm. What color is it? Um, it's, it looks almost like a light brown or a little red. Mm -hmm. Feels very much like fur, but. We, we don't kill animals. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What else do you see that's interesting in this place of yours? The kitchen is small, but again, it's everything we need. And it, we have a means to cook, but it's not electricity. Mm -hmm. How is it that you cook? It's the, the pots are not metal. They're more. They're made of something natural. Mm -hmm. um, but we do cook in pots. Mm -hmm. What is it that you eat? It, lots of vegetables. Looks like cabbage. Similar to cabbage is mm -hmm. the main food. Mm -hmm. And we have very strong teeth and everyone's so healthy and happy. Very good. So let's find out a little bit about what you do. I'd like you to close that scene and let's go to a time where you're doing what you typically do in this village. I help with planning. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about this. We meet to talk about the needs of the community and we plan to make sure we have all the food and the water and the infrastructure we need for all the people. Mm -hmm. We make sure it's sustainable that we don't take from resources. Mm -hmm. Does everybody work to do this? Yes. Mm -hmm. Everybody contributes. In, in which ways, for example? Some of the women cook for others, mm -hmm. not just their families. Some of the men help to garden. Well, the kids and the women too. So you, you're able to do what you love. Mm -hmm. If you love to be outside in the sun in the garden, that is, you can do that as long as you like. Mm -hmm. And others, it's what they're good at or what they enjoy, they get to spend more time doing that. Although they also help out in other ways. Mm -hmm. What do the children do in your village? They they help with chores but it's more like play. Mm -hmm. And they do go to school there's or they do learn. Um not like a regular school but what do the children? What do the children learn in school? 
that's where they find out what they are good at, what they like. Huh. It's like a they learn from computers, but the computers are like uh, they're they're like in air. They're not physical. Mm -hmm. Do you see things like a screen in the air? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's blue, and they see information. It's like playing a game, and it's it's not English. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's uh, a lot of symbols. Mm -hmm. Do you have a different language? <clears throat> uh, yes. Mm -hmm. What does your language sound like? It's soft and fluent. Uh, it's not choppy. It's, mm -hmm. it's almost like music. Is there something that you can say to me in your language? <laughs> mm -hmm. It's it's almost like a shape in my mind, but I can't make my tongue do it. Mm. That's try it and see. <laughs> That's not it. Mm -hmm. No. I'm not even close. Mm -hmm. So it's more like a musical. It's much more musical, very mm -hmm. fluid. Very good. Do you call your people anything? We do, but I can't make out the name. Mm -hmm. Chirapi, Chiratos. Mm -hmm. This place where you live, is it a planet somewhere? It is like Earth, but not Earth. Mm -hmm. What do you call your planet? I want to say home, but mm -hmm. it's it must be our word for home. Yes, that's where you live. Yes. Very good. Do you ever leave your home and go elsewhere? There are other communities we sometimes walk mm -hmm. to that maybe take a day or so. Mm -hmm. Very similar to ours, but ours is near water, so mm -hmm. we garden more. Theirs is near the, um, like, forest, mm -hmm. so they harvest, mm -hmm. Very good. make things, mm -hmm. we trade. I see. So now I'd like for you to close that scene, and let's go ahead and if farther out into that lifetime when you're older now and something significant is happening. Tell me where you are. I'm older, mm -hmm. and we live much longer than humans. Mm -hmm. How old are you? 250. Mm -hmm. So it will soon be time for this life to be over. Mm -hmm. I have children and grandchildren and great-grandchildren. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't have to work anymore, although they do ask me for advice at times. Mm -hmm. Do you still do your planning? My mind is still sharp, mm -hmm. but yet I don't go to the meetings. I see. So how do you spend your days? It's like retirement, mm -hmm. but it's harder to move around, so it takes a lot more time to take care of myself. Mm -hmm. uh, my wife has already passed, but my family, I have so much family who comes to see me and helps take care of me. Are you in the same home that you were when you were younger? 
Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. So now let's move forward to the last day of your life in that fight time. Move forward and tell me where you are. I'm lying on the cot mm -hmm. and it's just so peaceful. Mm -hmm. I know it's coming and I'm ready. There is no fear. Mm -hmm. Are you alone or with others there? Alone. Mm -hmm. And simply release. Uh -huh. So go ahead and release that body. And tell me what happens to your soul after you leave that body behind. Floating up toward the light mm -hmm. like a magnet. And tell me everything that happens. Draws me right in. I've done this before. Mm -hmm. It's home. That life was beautiful. Tell me about that life. What was the mission of that life, the purpose? To, it was almost like a dream come true. Mm -hmm. To see what it could be like for all peoples everywhere. Mm -hmm. Happy lives, contributing, doing what you like. It's making sure that uh, no one in the earth is not harmed. Mm -hmm. With the, the land, the planet, the home. What lessons did you learn from that lifetime? Just so Always be open to love. Always be open to love is a beautiful lesson. It is in everything, everything you do. Wonderful. So let's see what happens now. Who do you meet with? Oh, friends. Mm -hmm. Happy to see friends. Mm -hmm. Are you the friends from this place where you just left? Some. Mm -hmm. What else? But soul friends. Mm. Tell me more. Tell me about these friends. One is my male best friend who was also in that life. Mm -hmm. And we are shaking hands, hugging, happy to see each other. Mm hmm. Who else do you see? Well, I see my parents from this lifetime, mm -hmm. but they seem smaller. Mm. Their souls seem smaller. Why? Let's find out why. They're on a different level. Mm -hmm. How does that make you feel when you see that? A little sad, mm -hmm. but understand they didn't take the step. So let's find out if you make any decisions about your parents while you're there. It was my job to help to lift them up. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. But it was up to them. Mm -hmm. So let's find out now what happens after you're in that space and you meet with all of your guides. Where do you go to next? It feels like that lifetime was before this one. Mm -hmm. And I chose to come here. So let's find out what contracts, what choices you made before you came into this life, who you met with. To be light for my current parents mm -hmm. in this lifetime, just to be light. To try to help them. 
Are there any others that volunteered to come with you in this life? My husband, current husband. Mm -hmm. Let's see what you came up with before you got here. What was the agreement? To learn how to recognize each other. Mm -hmm. And he won the bet. He recognized me first. <laughs> uh -huh. He's my best friend. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's meet with your guide now. See if you can find your guide. The one who helps you. Yes. Mm-hmm. And let's see what your guide has to tell you about your life. My guide reminds me of my husband. Mm -hmm. um, um, what can you tell me about this life? You are presented with challenges. It's up to you to see that they are not real. What kind of challenges have you chosen to go through? That you are not worthy. Any other? Yes, but it's unclear. Mm -hmm. Very good. Does your guide have anything else to say to you? You know who you are. Remember who you are. Go with the end. Your power is so small right now. step into it. Very good. They're still working on that eye. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How do you feel? Oh, that was just so good. <laughs> Oh, I feel like I had a really good night's sleep. <laughs> Wonderful. So what did you get uh, from your side? That was a really cool place mm -hmm. that I went to at first. It's beautiful, the, huh? The, where the guy was sitting on the beach. Yes. And everything was just a perfect life. Yes. Oh, that's nice. I wish we had that now, huh? Yeah. Everybody worked doing what they loved. And mm -hmm. Even the kids. Mm -hmm. And they were seeing these computer screens in the middle of the air. Yeah, that was so cool. So they were ultra high tech, but they were very simple. It's then on purpose, yeah. yeah. They chose to be that way because mm -hmm. it was a much more sustainable life. Yeah. Um, and there was no need to have anything other than what you needed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And everything was very comfortable. It's like a very evolved race. It's amazing, huh? And what about... All of the healing and all of this stuff oh, that went man. on. How did it feel to you? Very cool. Made sense, huh? It was. It was like it was there on just on the sur on below the surface, yeah. and then took me to that place where I could access it. It's mm -hmm. like oh, finally. <laughs> so, how do you think that this session has helped you now to help other people? Tremendous. I mean, it's, it's, it's certainly going to take um, time, but it's it was the pivot that needed to be made mm -hmm. so that now I can do more of what I'm supposed to be doing. Love and light. 
Yeah. <laughs> and stop carrying all that load of everybody. You're not yeah. supposed to fix anybody. Yeah. I just, it's so weird. You know, you have so much empathy. Yeah. And you forget, use compassion instead of empathy. Exactly. Exactly. I have so many people that come to me with horror stories. But it's like water on a duck. It's not mine to carry. I could listen to them. I could hold space for them. But it's not mine to put on myself. It's not my experience. It's their load to carry. And I'm there just to release that load from them, not to put it on my back. So the habit started as a kid because my mom did that all mm -hmm. the time. There, I'm miserable. Here, mm -hmm. carry some of this. Right. Mm -hmm. Be miserable with me. Exactly. So you could see that you that doesn't benefit you. It's just going to cripple you. Right. So you need to just reflect back to them and say, this is, you know, I'm shining a light on you. <laughs> let's, let's multiply that light. The only person who can change it is you. Exactly. Yeah. You can't carry it. Just by letting people know and being there for them is all that, that matters. It really is. So you had a good one, huh? It was very good. How long did you feel that you were on this journey? How did it feel? Like maybe an hour? Yeah, it's about an hour. About an hour and 15 minutes. Yeah. So, something like that. It was short and sweet. There was nothing really... You know, they didn't need to show you all of these lives. You know, they wanted to show you the one that was nice. Yeah, but there was, that was no wonderful. need. There was no need to go back to these horror stories. We just needed to find out what caused them. Let's cut them away, change the change the tapestry thing. Yeah, that was cool. Mm -hmm. The tapestry. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It tapestry was, of life. It's like a moving, moving, living thing. Yeah. No, yeah, it's all threads, right. all the threads, how they connect. Yeah, it's just, just infinite. That's amazing. So, you know, I think this was a very personal session. <laughs> and this is not something to share. <laughs> so I'm not going to ask you. I mean, the life was really cool. But, yeah, that part but, was really cool. Yeah, but, you know. I you can, can share that life if you want. <laughs> okay. You want to do that? Just share the past life? It's kind of cool. Yeah, it was cool. The computer thing was really cool because it was all symbols. It wasn't really letters. Uh huh. And you tried to speak the language, but oh, that was so hilarious! It was like <laughs> the symbol of what I was trying to say was was like a like a swirl. that. Like it a swirl. Like it came this way and then went back underneath itself, and there was no way that my tongue could make it. <laughs> it was like. <laughs> <laughs> That had to have been so funny. It was. Why could you not laugh? <laughs> it was funny. It was funny to watch. So let's sit up and say goodbye so that we can, you can give your experience. Excellent. So we just had a really beautiful past life. Yes. So tell everybody how it felt to be in this, in this past life, the, this beautiful place. The place was just so beautiful. It's like what you would want to, the kind of life you would want for all the humans on earth. Mm -hmm. which you'd want for the earth itself um, because all of her resources are being used up and this was a way of living with the planet not taking from right. the planet yeah and but all the humans were so happy or the beings which looked very human-like mm -hmm. um, they were all so happy and so healthy and they had what they needed but they didn't have to take in order to get what they needed. Mm -hmm. And they all worked in couple of cooperation, were able to do what they liked. It was so beautiful. I mean, it was just like what you would want. So you were given a picture of what life really should be like yeah. for humans. The way I've always thought of it in my head is of how it should be like. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. maybe that's why. Because <laughs> that life. <laughs> you actually picked it up. <laughs> Excellent. So what was the reason that you came here? And what did you get from it? The reason I came here to this lifetime on Earth was to to spread that light and love to um, just to spark the possibility that that is mm -hmm. achievable mm -hmm. for humans as well as um, that future is achievable. Mm -hmm. And you are doing that already. So tell everybody what you do. What, oh, I do intuitive reading. <laughs> 
Uh, I connect with a, a high level of, of your guides, um, any souls that want to come through. And the messages that come through are the messages that you are most ready for and need to hear so that you can make a change in your life or what you're ready to accept. Um, and people find me because they're ready to make that change. Mm -hmm. So is there any way that they can contact you if they wanted to do a reading? Do you do it over Skype or do you do it in person? How do you do readings for people? I can do them over the phone. Mm -hmm. um, I don't have Skype set up yet. Um, so I do do a lot over the phone and they're usually very good. Um, I can definitely do them in, in person as well depending on the geographical area as far as travel is concerned. Mm -hmm. So would you like to, to um, uh, offer that to, to people that you're of service? I'd love to. <laughs> okay, so maybe we can give you can give me a contact information and we can provide that for them. That'd be great. Okay. Thank you. Good. All right, so if you would like a session with me, you can go to albowyman.com, as Selena did. And uh, right now we are in Atlanta, Georgia, and uh, you traveled quite a bit to get here. Um, I 100 miles. 100 miles. Not too bad. Yeah. So um, if you want a session with me, albowyman.com, and hopefully I'll be seeing you in a future session. Until the next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.